Taiwan has released dramatic footage of the train crash that killed 50 people. The video shows a construction truck slid onto the tracks less than a minute before impact. Authorities say that the driver of the train did all he could to avoid disaster. Victoria Jen reports. Well, based on the initial investigation, the truck was moving along a curve before rolling down onto the track just one minute before the train hit. Now, it's suspected that the truck's brake was not properly engaged, but investigators declined to confirm that at this moment. Also, video footage uh, retrieved from the train showed that the first carriage derailed and slammed against the wall of the tunnel immediately upon impact, and it was sliced in half. Um, so at the time, the train was traveling at 130 kilometers per hour when it hit the truck, and the driver only had less than five seconds to react. He pulled the emergency brake for four seconds and was only able to slow the train down to 120 kilometers per hour. Uh, 整个 泰鲁格号, 它还没有办法在几秒之内呢, 让它降速到足以减少伤害, 司机员确实有去, 哦, 维护, 哦, 尝试着, 啊, 最大的努力, 希望, 啊, 这个列车不会有后续的灾难. Now experts say that at that speed, it would require at least 16 seconds and 600 meters of track to completely stop the train. Investigators said the driver had clearly done the best he could, so the responsibility doesn't lie with the train driver. President Tsai Ing-wen has promised the families of the victims that a thorough investigation will be carried out, but it could still take a few months before the final results will be released.